I am so sorry. I came in late. Um, my neighbor's gardener decided to come in and do his lawn. So the lawnmower was roaring so hard. Nobody could hear me. So I had to look for a place or a space in the house just to do this. Thank you so much for taking time to be with me today again. Uh, this is Tolani. I am currently the pastor at The Well, uh, a missionary outfit where we just allow the Lord to do what he wants to do with his people. We have been talking about giving yourself permission to thrive. We've been looking at certain uh, factors that can help you to be who God has called you to be. But we have to take a little break today because of current affairs. We have the elections that just took place in America and it has cost a lot, a lot, a lot of emotions. Um, and so I would like to address that in light of you rewriting your own story. No matter what's going on around you, there is need to look at what you can gain in the midst of the madness. We woke up with a shock, most of us, on Wednesday morning and discovered that the most unlikely candidate had become the president-elect of the United States of America. But that's what life is all about. Changes that you didn't expect. Surprises that come your way. Now, as a thought leader, you ask yourself, what do I do? You, have, you can have two reactions. You can join what everybody else is saying. You can be mad like they are angry. Or you can look at the energy that is going on around you and make use of that for your own advantage. So it's up to you, really. What do you want to do with this? And I pause there because I want you to think of the question I've just asked you. What do you want to do with this whole stuff going on around you? As of this morning, the president-elect is having his, his life is going on. And the person who lost the election, her life is going on. So why are we killing ourselves, talking back to one another? Because of what? It's just like sports. There has to be a loser, there has to be a winner, and one has emerged. So my quest for you this afternoon is, what are you going to do with what life is throwing at you? The, the second reaction you can have is take this and run with what is available to you in this season. Two things I have seen that have helped me in my own walk in life when I fall or I lose Let's, let me put myself in the state of Hillary Clinton who lost. What would I do? Would I sit and cover my head and be mourning and weeping and blaming people? No. For you to rewrite your story, for you to do better than where you were before, for you to move on in life, you take what is left, you run with it, you make use of what is available to you. Most of us get into emotional quagmire. Like I said to you in a previous video, emotions can become a nuisance. Look at the guys who are destroying houses, who are spray painting cars simply because they are angry. When you can't control your emotions and they rule you, you really can't go far in life. So I would suggest to you that just get up from where you are and keep going. Have I had cases in my life that I should have been distraught or I should have been down? Yes, I've had many. I've had failed businesses. I've had failed relationships. People who I trusted have messed up my life, literally. But I got to pick up the pieces and keep going. That is life. That is how you rewrite your story. That is how you come out stronger than where you were before. I've seen fear in the last four or five days. Fear before even the elections, before it went on. Fear after the results came out. There's a group that think 
well, we deserve this. We're much better than every other group of people in the nation. I can tell you they operate from the place of fear. They're afraid of things they can't really put their finger on. And that's why they're behaving the way they do. That's why they're being nasty to people. And then the other party too, we that are supposedly on the receiving end, we too are afraid. So when you look across board, both parties are afraid. Afraid of what? Afraid of nothing. Because there's more than enough for everyone. So I would encourage you, as I do myself, as you want to get up and rewrite your story, you really have to deal with fear. You really have to deal with anger. You really have to deal with things that can put you back. How do we move on now from here? Because I really want us to talk about these elections. What do we do from here? The best thing to do is to pull back from all the mess, from all the things that people are saying, don't get involved in all that. Please, I'm not. After I listened to it and I realized that the person I thought would win didn't win, I pulled back. I just went into, my, into myself and said, okay, what do I do from here? Because whichever way you look at it, life has to go on. I told you I came late because my neighbor's grass man was here and he was doing the lawn. So businesses are running. Life is going on. Don't stop because of what has happened to you. Don't stop because of what people are saying. Let's get a grip of ourselves. We're matured. Let's look around us and say, okay, what is left? What can I do? How can I move on? It's very interesting that President Obama and the new president-elect were, for 18 months, saying terrible things about each other. But did you see them on CNN yesterday? They shook hands like gentlemen because there is a goal ahead. There is a focus ahead. And so they, 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 they're talking about matters that matter. You should focus on matters that matter to your own destiny, to your own life. Keep going. Enough of pulling each other down. Enough of allowing yourself to be pulled down. So how do we move forward? How do I rewrite my story? How do I get up from where I am? I make up my mind that the past is in the past. Today is 11-11-16. 11, 11, 16. 11, 11, 16. So we have 50 more days, exactly 50 more days to the end of the year. My dear friend, I am going to work what I can in those 50 days, God helping me, and yourself too. Let's pick it up from where we are. Let's find what we can take from the broken pieces and move on. There's so much ahead of you. There is so much more for you to achieve. Don't let fear put you down. Don't let things that don't matter affect you. This is my little contribution today. There's a, a lot more that I could have said, but because this is a public forum, I want to try and limit it to what is, you know, what we can take in little bites. Um, this weekend, Take time to just look inward when you do have time to do so and find out what is left out of whatever it is that you've lost. And if you've won, don't let it get into your head. Allow yourself to get up again and keep going. I want to thank you so much for taking time to be with me this weekend. Let this weekend be a wonderful, wonderful time for you. Um, Today we were supposed to take questions. Today we were supposed to um, look at things that may hinder you from getting up. Now, I don't know if it's okay for us to talk about that. If you have a question, just you know, put it in the inbox um, and let's see if I can deal with it today. But if not, we can always take it another time. Um, I'm trying to see if there's anything coming in. 
If there's any question on how best to get up, if you've lost or you've, you know, had any challenge before. Um, I don't seem to have any. Anyway, have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Don't join them in all those long analyses and discussions they have. Take time to pull away and look inward. What can I do to keep pressing on? You must give yourself permission to thrive. 50 more days in 2016. God keep you and strengthen you. God um, enable you to do the impossible. I appreciate you all. Have a wonderful weekend. God bless.